Hello again, everyone. I'm Tyler Pyburn of the Pulse Network, and we are here having a great conversation leading up to the 2012 NAB show and really the great content shift that's taking place across the industry right now. We're talking with Simon Frostat of uh, Bridge Technology. And Simon, you know, we, we've talked about the, the monitoring and, and analytics. So now let's talk a little bit more about DVBT and DVBT2 networks. Kind of explain those to me a little bit. Well, basically, we saw the need of, you know, kind of a digital standardization in the early days of going digital with, with normal, you know, terrestrial transmissions. And basically, the DVB organization was very, very fast in then creating this, this standardized effort called DVBT for DVB terrestrial. And that has been extremely successful in being deployed all across Europe and also in, in Central Asia and some South America as well. But there came a need, of course, for HD, and suddenly you saw that the frequency spectra was not big enough and stuff like that. So they came up with a proposed uh, uh, new standard called DVB-T2. And basically the T2 has a lot more better usage of the frequency spectrum. And another thing we saw, it's implementation going down from, you know, typically five years from conceptualization to any kind of commercial adaptation. We saw that go down to very close to two years which is the fastest implementation of any kind of new proposal ever by the DVB uh, standards organization. And that is the key reason for its adaptation, that it actually gives you up to 50% better usage of the frequencies that you have today. And of course, another very, very big advantage, the ability to use IP networks for distribution to the transmit towers, which can greatly reduce the cost of actually doing them uh, distribution to your transmit sites. Uh, Simon, talk a little bit more about the, the need and how important it really is to have this standard in place. Well, it came about because of HD, but of course, there's not only HD today, you have also 3D. And all these kind of applications are kind of hogs when it comes to, you know, getting bandwidth. So basically then the old bandwidth uh, that you had for broadcast was not enough. You couldn't really put as many services as you liked. And with DVB-T2, you can put a lot more services in it and you have a lot more, let's say, simplified kind of timing requirements. And that is the, the key thing. And we've been uh, able to develop some very, very intricate continuous monitoring and analytics equipment that can be placed all over the network on the different places that you need to monitor so that you can with confidence distribute a complete DVB T2 nationwide or actually European wide and actually then have full control over timing characteristics even though you're running on a standard IP network. Excellent stuff so far. Simon, we really appreciate you taking time out. Great stuff so far. Just a pleasure, Tyler. Excellent stuff. He is Simon Frostad of Bridge Technologies. I am Tyler Pyburn of the Pulse Network. This has been just another conversation leading up to the 2012 NAB show.